Yeah. All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom, which you call the United States of America. First and foremost, I would like to give all we would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Chakudash. We'd like to give a double honors unto our apostles and elders of great of great millstone that taught us this truth, and sincere shalom to you, Akim, pushing this truth out the four winds uh, 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 of the world and truth and sincerity. All right, I want to. Uh, I got a quick testimony on the vision, the dream I had today, this morning about the destruction. All right, I ever mentioned it to this brother, but I'm gonna just, I, hey, it was on my spirit to bring this out, that in my vision that I had, planes just fell out of the sky. And we and I saw them, and this brother was with me and saw them just explode, multiple planes, okay? And and as, as it's going on, it's just people just running around, you know, uh, um, without a clue in the world of what the fuck is going on and what's happening, okay? And, and as the dream went on, with, during, when that happened, my woman was with us and she bugged out. She couldn't take it, you know? And, and that made me think about all these women out here that are proud that when these times come, when, 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 when it ain't no food, it, it's, it's, it's uh, anarchy, it's, it's, it's crazy out in these streets, these women are gonna bug out. They're not gonna be able to take it. I vividly, rem if I can almost remember, she said, I can't do this, I can't take it. And then after that, I didn't see her no more. And me and my son went one way and this brother went another way, but at the, at the the point is, a judgment is coming to America and it's coming fast. And when it happens, it ain't no turning back these plagues. When I saw those, when I saw when we saw those 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 planes drop out the air and they exploded, me and this brother was giving all praise to Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. We was happy as hell. That's when my woman in the dream, she she she, I couldn't take it. I can't take it. I can't believe this. And that's that's what's gonna happen. And that was just a small. A small, a, a snippet of vision that the Heavenly Father gave me uh, earlier this morning. So that's going to happen in real life. You're going to see that with your own eyes. It ain't going to be like, oh, he said, she said. It's going to be like, no, I saw this. You know, that's the times we're living in. And if you're not right, you're not getting, you're not right, you're not getting right with the Heavenly Father. You're going to be judged out here in America, or wherever you Israelites dwell in this world, because all the calamities are coming, they, and they and they're going to come. As it says in um, uh, Daniel, the 12th chapter, the first verse, um, there's been a time that has never been since there was a nation. So all the captivities, all the uh, uh, judgment that Jake has been through, through our whole existence as a nation, okay, all, all, the, all the wicked shit that happened, it's going to be worse than slavery. Imagine how bad slavery was. I got you. Go ahead. Matthew 24, verse 21. Yep. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be, and except those days shall be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And the days are being shortened. We're almost to a new year. It would seem like, yes, it seemed like a month ago that we were doing the New Year's Eve of destruction, but here it is, 2022 is, is approaching fast, and, and really the most I gave you a lot of, you gave you a break of 2021, of, uh, the, uh, going how 2020 was. But don't think that 2022 is going to be no more breaks. 2021 ain't over. It ain't, it, it kind of ain't over. Yeah. Winter's coming. Yep. Yeah. So all, hey, all these destructions are, are coming to America. And it's starting with you people on this sign, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Right. Judgment is coming for us as a nation first. And then it's going to trickle down to the other nations. It's nothing for the most high to deal with them. But these people on this sign, y'all going to get it the worst because y'all should know better. You know, y'all have a, you have a zeal of the most high. You have a, you know that there's a higher power, but you, you ignore the higher power. You ignore his prophets. Uh, you uh, so like, I was going to quote it, but it says from um, Isaiah 29 chapter, it says, um, there's, though their lips draw near me, but their hearts are far from me. Yep. That's our people. They like to honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. That's true. They love, oh my God, I love, oh Jesus. And they say all of this other stuff about the higher power and his only son. From what they understand or don't understand or whatever but they will not do the things that the bible tells them to do that's written because you would like uh, a point that a brother made uh, years ago when the elders made it was like you wouldn't know about god or about you know the messiah if it wasn't for the bible there's yeah. not another book that tops the the the, 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 the story so to speak the understanding of, of, of who they were and, and what they came here to do so why don't you follow the things that they commanded us to do that's within the book? But our people are hard-headed, man. I think that's the truth that they were speaking earlier because 
Jake, like Jake loves to get close to the Heavenly Father, close uh, uh, to the Most High and His Son when shit is going bad. When someone, when they family dies, a, a family member is, is 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 in the hospital catching hell. Oh, let's pray, let's put up prayers. But they don't. Hey, when everything is going good, hey, Jake ain't got to care in the world, you know. But hey, when that affliction comes, hey, what I'm what I really want to say is. Seek the Lord now, before that affliction comes, before um, all these calamities come upon you. So Rock 5 and 7, make no tarry and turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Right when they say, peace and safety, in thy security. All right, right when Esau says everything's gonna be all right, bam, that's when the Heavenly Father is sending his son back like a thief in the night, when you least expect it, right when you, right, right when you in your comfort zone, all right. A lot of you, Jake's out here. You in your comfort.